Looks like Suicide Squad might need a Bruce Wayne bailout in the future. You see, The Hollywood Reporter reports that the film may need to make a whopping $750 to $800 million just to break even. So yeah, there's a lot riding on this film for Warner Brothers and an extension the DC Cinematic Universe. And the reviews aren't helping, with scores coming in just slightly worse than Batman v Superman. Nintendo is supposedly lining up a Triforce of big games for the release window of the mysterious console called NX. MTV heard from sources who claim the NX will get new Mario and Pokemon games, along with the gorgeous looking Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, within six months of the system's launch. That's reportedly in addition to third-party support from Sega, Square Enix, Ubisoft, Activision, and Warner Brothers. It would be great if Nintendo can get this through the pipeline, but let's not forget that we were also promised a bunch of big games early on in Wii U's life cycle, like Pikmin 3, Rayman Legends, and The Wonderful 101. And we all know how that played out. Delay after delay after delay. Now just like life finds a way, glitchers have found a way to drop the wrong characters into Overwatch's new mode called Lucio Ball. That means people are using May, Winston, and others to straight up murder Lucios in the soccer-inspired mode, which definitely doesn't seem to fit the spirit of the Summer Games event in Overwatch. Now, presumably, Blizzard will work on a fix to iron out this bug, but in the meantime, maybe people could just not cheat and play the game the way it was intended? Ah, oh, what am I saying? That will never happen! And that's your Daily Fix for August 4th. I'm Damon Hatfield. If you want more news, make sure you download the official IGN app, and remember you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.